All right. I don't know why I feel the need to do this, but I'm going to. Uh, this is an unboxing. Yes. An unboxing. I... I know. Utterly unique for YouTube. But, you know, I've never done an unboxing, so here I am. By the way, there is Cleopatra sitting on the pillow laid out specifically for her. Because, um, otherwise she sleeps on my pillow and it's black. And she's orange and a long-haired cat. And I just don't want that on a black pillow. So, uh, here we are. I've never quite done one of these. So, pardon me. How do you like my lights? I've got my pretty lights up. Yes. All right, so here we go. This is Etherfields, a board game I was fortunate enough to kickstart um, from Awakened Realms, and it's arrived. I have been looking forward to this thing for so long. And I don't have my claws on because I literally crawled out of bed to film this, so you're, you're not going to see the costume, <clears throat> the outfit, or anything. All right. Let's see him. What's that? Okay. Doing this one handed is a pain. Though I suppose normally people have tripods and stuff. I have one, I'm just lazy. Alright, we have some foam that I'm sure the cats will love to eat. Uh, what's this? EX Fortitude Veritas ISS Vanguard. This is, um... I have no idea. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, that's heavy. Hmm. One moment. Ooh. All right, that was more weighty than I anticipated. Here is the play mat. One moment. Holy crap, that is beautiful. That is a playmat. It's bigger than the box. Uh, all right. Put that back there. All right. Oh, whoops. There we are. Have to have this right side up. <clears throat> so, I have no idea what this is. This is not a game called ISS Vanguard. But I think... Oh. Hmm. Um. Okay. I got a comic? Interesting. It's... Yeah. A uh, graphic novel of some sort. I've, I did not expect that. Uh, what's, what else is in here? There's, I think there's something else. Uh, welcome to Etherfields. 
You are just one step away from entering amazing dream worlds and discovering their secrets. We just wanted to take a little moment to highlight a few things before you start. First of all, a lot of content from the stretch goals are already included in this box. During development, we decided that part of the extra unlocked content will work best together with the core box. So we put extra effort and added a little delay to add them now. Here is a list of the things added from the stretch goals to the first wave. Uh, four lucid mode dreamer models, one for each dreamer. Uh, four lucid mode dreamer boards, one for each dreamer. Eight lucid mode dreamer influence cards. Oh, there's more. Excellent, excellent. Three new human shapeshifter poses, team marker, four additional creature shapeshifter mo models, each unique, uh, penguin miniature, penguin cards, first player marker, custom luck die and movement die, custom intent markers, 17 dividers for your convenience, four oversized and 13 standard, double layer tray with better component management system, uh, 16 acrylic ether, ether markers, 16 acrylic universal markers, uh, 16 acrylic distress markers, uh, 100 more tokens, Ziploc waste bag, waste bag, if it's a Ziploc bag, I probably don't want to waste it, but okay, uh, three new extra masks, six shining gems, a ton of extra cards, 85 standard cards, 27 oversized cards, a uh, bigger, better quality game board, whole 48 page script book, new upgraded bases for most models. Uh, secondly, we kept working on the game and adding much more than what was promised in the campaign. You'll find a whole new 48 page script book, extra cards, Larger board, more tokens, all of this on top of the stretch goals. Here's the full list. I read that backwards, but whatever. <clears throat> uh, thirdly, don't forget about the rest of the stretch goals. We moved so much stuff to the core box, but we keep working on expanding the game. There'll be the Harpy campaign, which has the Harpy miniature, three masks... 10 sign tokens, 81 oversized cards, 99 standard cards, the She-Wolf campaign, which has the She-Wolf miniature, 58 oversized cards, 70 standard cards, a uh, winged cat riddler expansion with miniature and 50 cards, and some more. All in all, creating Netherfields was a hell of a ride. But now, when the game is complete, we could not be more proud. Thank you so much for your support. Without you, creating this amazing adventure would not be possible. We really hope you will enjoy your stay in the esoteric Etherfields. Good luck. Oh, I'm so excited. Yes. All right. So, now, to give you guys an idea, I backed on a level that would get me the board game, the expansion, and or the, the, the backer go goals... And all the expansions, so... But that won't come until, like, April, I don't think. What is this? Oh! I'm not going to open that right now. Ooh! A shiny thing to put around my neck. I believe it's tied to this, though. Interesting. All right. Let's see what else is in here. More foam. Creatures of Etherfields. You can't see it, but it's very pretty art. Etherfields. Fifth player expansion. Yes. Also, very... Pretty art. I don't think there is any... Oh, oh wait. I remember now. There was one more thing. A hidden 
Four small keys. Replace four cardboard keys from the game with these metal keys. Now, I don't know what'll happen uh, since I picked up the... F since I'll have the fifth player expansion rules, will I get metal key for that or no? Hmm, good question. All right, so that is all of that. I'll put these back here. Yes. Yes. Oh, so excited. So much excitement. In one box. Oh, now, for those of you who don't know, I, I am a fan of storytelling. No kidding, right? Um, and this is something of a collective uh, storytelling board game of sorts. So, we will... Um, yes. Uh, I'm going to have to take a moment to get the package off. That'll better be done with two hands. And we'll take a look inside the box. Let's take a look at the back here. Reviewers opinions. I'm really blown away by my experience with this game so far. It's an amazing well of creativity. Rado runs through. Uh, this one is real puzzler. It's so vastly different than that anything I have played. Really excited about this one, Ant Lab Games. Heather Fields is as so surreal and m meaningful journey into a dream world that begs to be discovered. Man vs. Meeple. Heather Fields is an immersive experience. The constant state of discovery and the, un of the, and the unknown keeps you glued to the table. The game mechanisms are well integrated and just pull you deeper and deeper into this dream world. A dream world I don't want to leave. Rolling solo. Hello, is there anybody there? I think our world is getting more and more out of tune. Etherfields is a narrative cooperative game for one to four players, or five since I have the fifth player pack. A series of unique dreams await you to discover them through tense exploration and tactical encounters. Learn about dreamers, their forgotten past, and their desperate mission. Uncover the surreal, sprawling dreamscapes. Don't just be surprised when, just like dreams often do, they turn a little disturbing. Prepare to be challenged by escape room-like riddles. Spot a clue in the image. See a hidden link between several pieces of information. Use your instinct as much as your logic. Enter the dream world. It may be dark here and there, but it certainly isn't grey. Then look around and ask yourself, what if we all live in a vast, shared dream? <laughs> oh. Sorry, I'm just <clears throat> probably going to get demonetized for that. Uh, do you have your favorite place that doesn't exist? I wish there's someone among the stars who would save us and our exhausted planet. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, me too. <laughs> oh, there's so much more here. And then, of course, it has 
the stuff it comes with. So, I, I'm i not going to read every other little thing here, because they kind of fade in and out, and frankly, I want to open up the box. One moment. I feel like there should be a choir of heavenly angels singing as I open this. Pardon my ugly floor. I live in a basement. Apartment. It's not like my grandmother's basement. It's an actual apartment. So, this is the game manual. Here's the secret scripts. Oh. Um. Card holders. Did not expect, but okay. On the board. Shall we take a look at the board? Oh, yes, Matt Kander, I think we should take a look at the board. Oh, thank you, disembodied voice. One moment. to see. Oh, you're welcome, disembodied voice of my viewers. You know, you should totally go to my Patreon. I think it's one mad catter, the mad catter. Patreon.com, the mad catter. Sure, we'll go with that one. Shameless plug, shameless plug. Okay. So we've got the game pieces. Totally not taking those out yet. Ah, oh, so many goodies. Got all these cards and miniatures. I'm not going to tear into all of these right now. Just taking a look. We've got the bag they mentioned. Baggies they mentioned. More colorful pieces. Special dice, counters, and such. Look at Look. Yes. Now, one of the things I'm going to love about this is the quality of the artwork. Giant rats. Assault Kittle. Discard the rats. Seal the number of cards. Oh, this is going to be a complicated game, and I'm going to love it. Oh, yes. Yes. Ah. So many, so many delicious things. Mud diving. Oh, oh, don't want to, I don't want to tear into these. These are, so, so we have the miniatures. Now, there was an opportunity to get uh, these special partially painted miniatures. They had like this orange golden sun thing. I did not have that much money. In fact, I didn't have enough money to get what I got, but I did anyway. I just had to eat ramen for a long time. <sighs> These are beautiful, though. Even just in grayscale, they are marvelous. 
and just go, be careful. There we are. Hmm. All right. So I do believe that is everything here. So, um, <clears throat> uh, was it like that? Sure. No. Hmm. Oh, wait. No, no. This is on. This is. Other fields. There we are. It's supposed to be like that. Aha! Well, no, that doesn't work either. No, no. All right. Well, whatever. <clears throat> Just gonna put these back in. Oh, I somehow messed it up. fit. All right. Put the board back. Put the rule books back. Oh, yes. Yes. All right. So that is the main, that is the main box right there. Now for the next. One moment. Creatures of other fields, I believe, is full of miniatures, so this one should be fairly quick to... Maybe I should have gotten my claws. My other claws are trimmed. Creatures of Etherfields. Yes, now if I can only open this while holding a camera. I should have gotten my tripod thing out, but no, no, I gotta do things the lazy way. So it's a picture, I imagine, so I can know where everything goes. That is very smart of them. Because I am a forgetful catter. Ah, oh, yes. Look at all that plastic. Ah, oh, yes. Oh, is that the whole thing? I do believe it is. Yep. Okay. So, that is Creatures of Etherfields. That was part of the whole shebang. So, there we are. Now, I will um, open up the final package here and then take a nap. All right, one moment. So this is the fifth player expansion. Already took off the lid because, yes, now 
These are apparently important things. Oh, they must have been hiding in the other box. Probably in the... Oh, no, they're in the uh, uh, cardboard thing. Yeah, that's right. Collection of game pieces. All right, so yes. So these are the uh, progress cards for the Reaper. Ah, pieces. And I think the there's an Ascension card. So there's the key. But I don't think I've got a fifth metal key, which is unfortunate, but I... Okay, so we've got the base, a few tokens, the miniatures. There's that one, dancing with dual scythes. And then, I think this is the ascended miniature. I still gotta read the rules. And then, of course, the cards. Yes. Alright, I don't know what that's for, but... Okay. That is everything there. Oh, and these are cut out in such a way that when I punch these... Oh, okay. Uh, for the pieces and stuff. Alright, I've got it now. I'm using my noodle. Did I... I what? There we are! Alright. The back features uh, faint art. Oh, and what's the... Is there anything on the back of this? No, it's just uh, pictures of the miniatures themselves. Very well. Four. And then some smaller ones, it would seem. Hmm. All right. We'll put those back in there. All right. Well, um, that is my unboxing. And I forgot some things. Oh, well. Um, thank you for watching. Like, subscribe for horror storytelling. Eventually, I will create a... Uh, Mad Catter Plays channel, or maybe it'll be called uh, Twisted Treats. Yes, Twisted Treats. I think I might call it that. I will make a channel, and I'll post stuff from this game, and um, maybe the D&D &D games that I run on Sundays. Broadcast on Twitch at Twitch. TV uh, forward slash numeric one mad catter. Uh, yes, yes, one mad catter. All right, well, like, subscribe, go to the Patreon if you have more money than you know what to do with, and, well, I know it's only, it's, it's about 11 a.m., but I am nocturnal, so good night, my creepy kitties, and, of course... Pleasant dreams. <laughs>